Today, I'm going to be talking about three ways you can interface with your i550 control unit. You have the USB module, the Wi-Fi module, and the keypad. To connect the i550 control unit to your PC, pop on the USB module and connect a USB cable to your PC. This is going to be a standard micro USB cable. Now I'm going to be talking about how to use the 24 volt external keep alive with the keypad so you can program the control unit on your desk. You're going to pop in your keypad. You're going to connect 24 volts to 24E and ground. Your positive will go into 24E. And your negative will go into ground. Once these are plugged in, connect your 24 volt supply and your control unit should power on. Now we're going to be talking about how to use the Wi-Fi module with the i550 control unit. As before, you need a 24 volt supply, the positive going to 24E and the negative going to ground. I'm going to pop in the module. You can download the Lenza Smart Keypad app in the Google Play Store. Once it is installed, you can go to your Wi-Fi setting. I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi on. It's going to connect to the i550. And once it is connected, you can start the app. Right now it's searching for devices. Once it is found, you want to click on my device. If you want to view the diagnostics, there is a summary of diagnostics including error codes, cause of disable, the DC bus voltage, frequency set point, actual motor voltage and current, as well as modes of operation and active control source and set point source. Right here, when you have cleared the error, you can click this button to clear any errors you have. If you want to go into the parameters, as you can see, it is grouped like it is on the keypad. Group 0 is favorites, group 1 is diagnostic, group 2 is basic setup, group 3 is motor control, group 4 is I.O. setup, group 5 is field bus setup, group 6 is process control. You can enable or inhibit the controller from here, as well as reset the error. If you want to save the parameter sets that you've changed, you click this button right here, and it will save your parameter set. Thank you.